In this presentation, we will discuss about differentiation of hypergeometric function. We have f alpha beta gamma x is equal to summation k is equal to 0 to infinity alpha k beta k over gamma k into x to the power k over k factorial. This is our equation number 1. Differentiating both sides of equation 1 with respect to x then we have d d x f alpha beta gamma x is equal to summation k is equal to 0 to infinity alpha k beta k over gamma k into 1 by k factorial d d x x to the power k is equal to summation k is equal to 0 to infinity alpha k beta k over gamma k into 1 by k into k minus 1 factorial into k x to the power k since k factorial is equal to k into k minus 1 factorial this k this k get cancelled then is equal to summation k is equal to 0 to infinity alpha k beta k over gamma k into x to the power sorry minus 1 x to the power k minus 1 over k minus 1 factorial d d dx f alpha beta gamma x is equal to summation k is equal to 0 to infinity alpha k beta k over gamma k into x to the power k minus 1 over k minus 1 factorial. This series can also be written as alpha 0 beta 0 over gamma 0 x to the power 0 minus 1 over 0 minus 1 factorial this is our first term plus summation k is equal to 1 to infinitive alpha k beta k over gamma k into 1 by k minus 1 factorial x to the power k minus 1 is equal to 1 into 1 over 1 into x to the power minus 1 over infinitive plus summation k is equal to 1 to infinitive alpha k beta k over gamma k into x to the power k minus 1 over k minus 1 factorial since alpha 0 is equal to 
beta 0 is equal to gamma 0 is equal to 1 and minus 1 factorial is equal to infinity 1 by infinity is equal to 0. And then we have 0 plus summation k is equal to 1 to infinity alpha k beta k over gamma k x to the power k minus 1 over k minus 1 factorial. We are having d dx f alpha beta gamma x is equal to summation k is equal to 1 to infinity alpha k beta k over gamma k into x to the power k minus 1 k minus 1 factorial. This is our equation number 2. So, let k minus 1 is equal to m. This implies that k is equal to m plus 1. So that when k is equal to 1 m is equal to 0 and when k is equal to infinity m is equal to infinity putting these values in equation 2 then equation 2 turn out to be summation m is equal to 0 to infinity alpha k being replaced by m plus 1 m plus 1 beta also beta m plus 1 over gamma k m plus 1 x to the power m over m factorial is equal to summation m is equal to 0 to infinity alpha into alpha plus 1 m beta beta plus 1 m over gamma into gamma plus 1 m into x to the power m over m factorial since alpha m plus 1 is equal to alpha alpha plus 1 m beta m plus 1 is equal to beta beta plus 1 m gamma m plus 1 is equal to gamma gamma plus 1 m is equal to alpha beta gamma summation m is equal to 0 to infinity alpha plus 1 m beta plus 1 m over gamma plus 1 m into x to the power m over m factorial. We are having d dx f alpha beta gamma x is equal to alpha beta over gamma summation alpha plus 1 m beta plus 1 m over gamma plus 1 m x to the power m over m factorial 
m runs from 0 to infinity here alpha beta and gamma independent of m by definition this series will be equal to f alpha plus 1 comma beta plus 1 comma gamma plus 1 x therefore d dx f alpha beta gamma x is equal to alpha beta over gamma into f alpha plus 1 beta plus 1 gamma plus 1 x this is our required equation in the same split we can derive d c square f alpha beta gamma x is equal to alpha 2 beta 2 over gamma 2 f alpha plus 2 beta plus 2 gamma plus 2 x in general we can write this can also be proved with the help of mathematical induction thank you see you in next presentation